I've never been able to complete the 30 Poems in 30 Days National Poetry Month Challenge. Last Poetry Month, I managed to share 20 vlogs about various collections, and you can still find those on my channel, but that did next to nothing for my own poetry practice. So this year, I'm actually making an effort. I'm going to take you along while I create my own dashboard for the month of April. Let's get started! Start with a blank page, and I call this National Poetry Month Tutorial. I like to make it full width. Create a table view, the new database. Name this National Poetry Month again. Then add a couple columns. Start with a checkbox. Call this finished. It's kind of unnecessary, but I just like crossing things off. I also make it very tiny in, on the side. Add an ID column with the prefix day. Put that next to the checkbox and then make sure that it's ascending numerically. Add a text column, prompts. Feel free to delete this column. Add a select column for form and a multi select column for themes. Add a date column. Let's go ahead and put all 30 days here. I would just add two columns and then select them all and duplicate until you get to 30. Add another select column for status. And then I would add the options not started, first draft, revised draft, ready for feedback. And publish. I would make not started gray. First draft could be Orange, revised draft, green, ready for feedback, blue, published, purple. But obviously that's up to you, whatever you want to do. I would move this over so that it's right next to day. Now I'm going to add a relation column. If you followed my last tutorial for poets, you've seen how I have a submissions dashboard that I use to keep track of submissions and you're just going to connect that here. If you haven't seen that, I'll be sure to link it here. Go and watch that if you're interested in being able to keep track of where you're submitting things. But here you're adding the relation that will show you all the magazines that you've submitted to so far if you set up that dashboard. And if you're interested in sending these poems out someday to those same journals, you'll be able to do that easily by setting up this relation here. So I'm clicking submissions in progress because that's the related database. And I'm going to make sure that it also shows up on submissions in progress. Now when I click here, it's going to show me a bunch of journals that I've entered there. This is good for if you're writing toward a specific call for a submission. I don't really see any other usage for it. Um, but it's also good if you're keeping track of your submission somewhere. You'll have a column that says National Poetry Month on the Submissions in Progress dashboard. And I can show you how to uh, configure that so that it's not messy. Then on the Submissions dashboard, you can add a formula column that says All Content and just combine content and National Poetry Month and then it'll show you everything 
that you're submitting instead of just the content that we worked on last time. You're gonna have to go through and manually add these dates. annoying but it's worth it for the calendar view which you're going to set up next. Now you'll see all the poems here. I would also add a checkbox here so that you can see at a glance whether you finished and maybe the status just because I like a bit of color. Everything is going to be not started when you start. So go ahead and just make it all not started. Calendar view, we'll see that. And these will change colors as you finish them. I would maybe move the checkbox so that it's at the bottom. Then I would add a board view and group it by status. Make sure that you're coloring the columns. It just looks nicer. To illustrate, let's just make this first draft. Let's make this revised. Ready for feedback. Published. See? So much nicer. And you can drag poems around as you move through the process. You can also move these so that they make more sense in terms of like where they are. So not started is probably first and then you have, I don't have any that are first draft, but maybe right here. First draft would be here. Revised draft. Ready for feedback and published. Um, and obviously you can add more statuses if these statuses don't work for you. I would clean this up slightly. Next I'm going to go through and type out the forms that Seamus and Taylor gave in their National Poetry Month calendar. Feel free to follow along. I will leave a link to their calendar in the description, but also feel free to do your own prompts and forms. Also, you don't have to have a prompt and a form for every single poem. If you're just feeling inspired and you just want to write a poem, just write a poem. So for example, say poem one is one of those situations. You can go here and configure these properties to not show up when it's empty. And then it just simplifies it for you a little bit. But I'm gonna go through and just go ahead and add these forms because I do like challenging myself with forms. My camera cut out but I finished typing all of the forms and again feel free to do what I did and type all these out but also feel free to do your own thing if that's what you want to do these are just options they were also nice enough to provide prompts if form isn't your thing 
So I'll also link to those prompts and you can just pick and choose what you want to do. For theme, I would just enter whatever themes that you are concerned with covering and then you should be able to filter by them so that you can see how many poems you're writing about certain themes at a glance. And I like keeping track of what themes I'm covering in my writing. You can do a lot of things with it later once you have the themes populated here. Another word about form, if there's one in particular that you really like and that you tend to write over and over again, you can create a template within the draft of the poems. To do that, go here and create a template and then just like type Pantoom here. I just copied the Pantoom formula from the article about it on the Masterclass website. Here it is. And it's easy to just come in and type your lines here. So now when you go here, if you're working on a pantoum for your poem, you can just click here and it'll give you the template. Last thing I would do is make it pretty. Add an icon of some sort. Um, I like a pen for poetry. Maybe add a cover. So all kinds of covers you can choose from. You have telescope images, artwork. If you can't find something from the gallery, feel free to look at Unsplash, type in a keyword like poetry. I like this one. And that's pretty much it. I hope you have a great month. Please feel free to come and tell me how it goes for you. I would love to hear. I would also love to hear how you're keeping track if you're not setting up a Notion dashboard like me. <laughs> I hope you enjoy this. I hope you try it out. But if you don't have the time, don't sweat it. I find this sort of thing fun. But at the end of the day, the writing is more important, of course. So I'm gonna go write now. And I hope you do too.